Hi YouTube. This was a video request from a YouTube friend named Z Usable. Um, I don't usually do requests, and in fact, I've told several people I don't do requests at all. But this is one I was thinking about doing. I did this on my original um, YouTube channel, and yeah, so I was thinking about doing an update anyway. And so here we go, my book collection. Um, you should know I've gave away, I've given away about 70% of my books in the last couple of years. Just paring down, uh, working toward minimalism. All right. But these are the books I have kept. And, um, right now I don't have any plans to get rid of any, any of them, but we'll see what happens, right? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I put them in three stacks and we'll go through them stack by stack. This is the miscellaneous stack. Um, this is a little word guide. 35,000 words, spelled and divided. Um, no definitions. It's not a dictionary, but it's got spellings and where you separate the words by syllable. Yeah, I got this book when I was in business college back in 1983. Neat little book. Very handy little book. So I've had it a long time and it's, it's seen quite a bit of wear, but still a handy book. Simple Solution to Rubik's Cube. This also is a very old book. I've had this probably just as long. Um, printed in 1981. I don't think I've had it that long. but It tells you how to solve the Rubik's Cube. All right. Yeah. <laughs> cool, huh? This is a Bible my mom bought me when I was five years old. All right, and I'm 51 now, so this is 46 years old. Wow. Lots of memories. Possum Living. This is a cool book. Um, I actually have done a video review of this book. I liked it so much. Uh, it's probably the only book here that's actually a story, um, novel, kind of. Um, yeah, most of my books are uh, either reference books or um, I bought them to learn something, to learn a topic. Um, and this kind of falls in that category, but it's more of a, a, a novel, I think. Anyway, neat book. Who Moved My Cheese? This was recommended... Actually, this was required reading at a job I had a long, long time ago. It's about dealing with change in a fun kind of way. I like it. I'm, I probably won't ever reread it again. Maybe I'll give it away. Who knows? How to Become a Master Handgunner. Um, very, very good book on improving your shooting uh, scores, right? Um, yeah, hitting your target um, more often by uh, body mechanics and other other tips. Very good book. The Joy of Work, uh, Dilbert comics and stories and such. This was given to me by a friend. Um, kind of a fun book. Many years, had that many years. Um, should I be tested for cancer? This is one, this is a book I bought, um, to learn something. And, uh, yeah, you might be surprised <laughs> by what you learn from a book like this. All right. But I'm not going to get into that. Home repair and home improvement. These big giant books have been very useful in, uh, plumbing. Water heater repair, stuff like that, that I've done. Big, big giant books. Um, yeah. And they weren't expensive, either. I got them used on Amazon. Less than 20 bucks a piece. Alright. That's the miscellaneous stack. Next stack is money. Money books. Um... 
richest, George Carson, Richest Man in Babylon. This book was re recommended to me by my friend Wayne Liu in Australia back in 2010. I don't remember why I bought two of them. <laughs> Actually, I think I bought more than that and I've given, given some away. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Uh, that, very, very good book. Um, talking about money uh, in a story format. An old, old time story format. Um, very cool. Very, very good lessons. Alright. And these were like a penny. I think, I think they were a penny plus shipping from Amazon. Yeah. Cheap. Um, the Little Book of Common Sense Investing. The only way to guarantee your fair share of stock market returns. Really, really good book. If you think you want to try and beat the stock market, buy this book and read it. Alright? That's all I'm going to say. Think and Grow Rich is a classic. Um, Napoleon Hill interviewed several millionaires and this is his story. It's a pretty good book. Um, yeah. I'm not as excited about this as I am about this one. <laughs> and these. <laughs> Alright. Uh, you can't lose trading commodities. Um, if you use this person's method, you can make a lot of money. Uh, but you've got to be smart and disciplined. Seeds of luck. Uh, ABCs are creating your heart's desire. How to create luck. If you believe in such things, this is a good book. How to get what you want in life with the little money you already have. Very, very, very good book. This was also a penny plus shipping on Amazon. I think ship, shipping is $3.99 for used books. Um, very good book for budgeting and getting out of debt. All right. Okay. Last category. Gambling books. Um, I've been told I have a gambling problem, but my reply is it's not a problem if you're winning. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, if you're smart about it, and that's the only way to approach gambling and casino games. You've got to be smart. You've got to be informed. You've got to read and learn before you go to the casino. All right. Be smart. Don't be one of the millions that gives away their money so they can build bigger, better casinos. No, 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 no. Get in, get ahead, get out. All right. That's what this is all about. Uh, Aces and Faces Blackjack. This is written by Rob McGarvey. I communicated with him uh, via email a few times and he wrote this book and I don't remember how I ended up with two copies but they're both autographed by him um, yeah <clears throat> uh, to me and um, then he died yeah a couple two or three years ago he died I don't know how or what happened um, but very good blackjack books um, yeah, he was, he was an inspiration, for sure. Gambling 102, this is written by Michael Shackelford, the best, the top gambling mathematician in the world, alright? He's got a website called wizardofodds.com, and he wrote this book, uh, giving you the very best strategies for several games, all right? He does not say you can beat these games, but if you're going to play, this is how you should play. That's what he says. Mathematically. Purely mathematical. Um, it's good to know, right? Um, yeah. Good to know. Lottery Winner's Guide. <laughs> this is a book not about how to win the lottery, but about what to do when you do win the lottery. Things you should do. Um, yeah, don't claim your prize right away. Um, there's a copy of a winning lottery ticket. I won three bucks. 
anyway, um, <clears throat> uh, yeah, hire a lawyer, all that. If you win millions of dollars, um, you should definitely invest five bucks in this book, <laughs> right? Very, very good advice. The Tao of Poker. I used to have a couple of dozen poker books, but I got tired of poker, got burned out on it, um, decided it wasn't for me, so I gave them all away. And then just recently, I started thinking about this book and I wanted to read it again, so I had to buy it again. <laughs> Very neat book filled with practical advice on poker. Um, some of it applies to other areas of your life, but um, uh, really good advice about poker. Uh, powerful Profits from Kino. Um, this is a serious book, but really, <laughs> um, I can tell you, I can tell you, I could probably give you the the uh, a summary in a few words, um, but yeah, if you like playing and you wanna you wanna educate yourself. Buy some books about the games you're interested in. That's what I'm going to say. Beat the Casinos by Frank Barstow. I believe he's dead. Um, this is a very old book. Lots and lots of systems in this book. And some of them, some of them I have used and some of them I'm afraid to use. <laughs> but it's a very interesting reading. All right. This book was written Nineteen seventy-nine. Conquer the casinos. Um, computer analysis of successful gaming strategies. This is interesting, but um, I gotta say I didn't really get anything out of it. I don't know why I still have it. Lottery numbers, past, present, and future by Harry Schneider. I have to say after I started playing his way, I started winning more, uh, more three out of six and four out of six, but um, never hit the big one, and I got tired of spending my money on lottery tickets. Easy dollars, pick three, daily lotto, um, same same thing. If you use these ideas, you'll win more, but um, you're probably not going to win more than you lose in the long run. There's another Kino book. Um, yeah. I like playing Kino. Um, some of the some of the casino games are kind of stressful because money's on the line, you got the dealer, you got other players. Um, Kino, Kino is different. In Kino you you buy your ticket, you sit in a comfortable chair, usually with a little desk in front of you, you got a drink holder, the drinks, uh, the casinos I go to, the serve yourself drinks are usually very close by. Um, you can read a book, sit there, watch the, the Kino scoreboard is in front of you. They only play, um, depending on the casino and the time of day, you might get a game every five minutes or it might be every ten minutes. Um, yeah, so you play a dollar, a dollar a game, and uh, you're probably going to lose your dollar, but once in a while, <laughs> it's payday, all right? <laughs> but very low stress way of gambling. Anyway, I've rambled enough. Um, yeah, that's my book collection, and uh, yeah, if you want to do a video response with your book collection, I'd be interested to see it. And yeah, y'all. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Peace.